All right, so we all saw the FNAF movie, at least I hope we did. No spoilers in the comments or anything like that. And we're hoping to keep this uh, theory spoiler free. But I think we may have a theory on what the next sequel to the FNAF movie is going to be. Do you have I any think. ideas? Are you asking me or the fans? You. Oh, oh, I did not prepare for this quiz. Um, my theory is that you and then Toy Chica are going to find each other, fall in love, and then Toy Freddy is gonna show up and try to take her from you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, buddy. More than likely. Really? I don't even know if I'm... Oh, wait. So, I think that the next movie is going to be a prequel. A prequel? What happens before FNAF 1? FNAF 2. But it, do you not know how to count? <laughs> it goes 1, 2, 3. You don't go backwards. It'd be negative... It'll... It'd be zero. That's the thing, though, buddy. You see, huh? FNAF 2 happens before FNAF 1 in the game. What? Yeah. Why would they do that then? God likes to be weird. Mm. But. It's okay, Scott. I forget. You see, the toy animatronics were a creation to keep William Afton out of the location. Let me see. I FNAF have to see this now. Two FNAF 2. Timeline. Right here, you see that the events of the first game takes place in the time before FNAF 1. Oh. Uh, excuse me, Freddy? Yeah? This is in Spanish. I just needed the pictures. Oh, but okay. You, but you see right here, the FNAF 2 crew, uh, the FNAF 2 crew with the toys, Toy Chica, uh -huh. Toy Bonnie, and Toy Freddy. Yeah. And then, you'll see right here where the paycheck is, where it says Jeremy Fitzgerald. Yeah. Both of the paychecks have dates on them. This is 87. In the, in the paycheck you get from FNAF 2, it's 85. Meaning that the events of FNAF 2 take place before the events of FNAF 1. So that means there's a bite of 85? N it's maybe, actually? Oh, this is interesting, Freddy. The mystery is like a rabbit hole. Yeah, but the reason I bring that up is because I believe that they're going to show what, like... Some of William's earliest victims that he caused. <gasps> Wait, and, and there's just like a huge mystery, right? There's not like a lot of victims who are known in the FNAF 2? Right, there's a- William Afton had a lot of victims. And the ones we know primarily are, of course, are the ones that take place. Like, uh, me, Chica, Foxy, and Bonnie. Oh, so the four kids, or I guess five, are technically in FNAF 2. Who? Yes. Well, why aren't they in those suits then? They are. You see, we are. You see, the. F you see, the Withers are actually before the FNAF 1 suit. So, they repurpose the Withers, create the original crew from that, and. and go for. and recreate them for that location you see in FNAF 1. Oh, so the spirits of the children were in the Withered animatronics. Yes. And even fixing up the Withered ones to look new. The spirits were still in it. Yup. Oh, so. <gasps> Wait, but. Oh, gotta keep it spoiler free. Dang it. Yeah, but the toy, but the toy animatronics, they were specifically designed for one thing, to keep William out. Oh, oh, I see where you're going with this, Freddy. So. So. When there were more oh. victims that happened at the toy location, the animatronics were decommissioned, deemed a failure, and were essentially pulled apart. Can I see a picture of these toy animatronics? So the FNAF 2 animatronics that are trying to keep William out, they're just normal animatronics? Essentially, there are a few theories saying that after the after the events of Night 4, they said that there was another incident that had the place shut down. We believe that oh. the kids were stuffed into the toy suits after that. Wait, so this is technically not the first FNAF one. No. <gasps> is it Family Diner the, where it all begun? Yes. So that's... <gasps> perhaps we will go to the fa uh, Fred Bear's Family Diner then instead of FNAF 2. That is a possibility, yes. But <gasps> I honestly do believe that the toy animatronics are going to take a role in the next movie. Whether or not they are a main focus of the movie, a side piece of the movie, or something of the sort. But I do believe that they are going to be in the movie. But wouldn't it be great to see the bite of 83, Freddy? 
Yeah, I'm not gonna dignify that. No, well, but, isn't there the bite of 87, which is still FNAF 2, right? Yes. So maybe we'll see 87, and then it'll be confirmed, and no longer a myth or a legend? You see, I feel like I know what Scott's going to do with the next movie, actually. Everyone dies. No. Well, maybe, actually. But- oh, What? <laughs> but, I believe that it's going to be both a sequel and a prequel. I believe what's gonna happen is, I believe Whoever the protagonist is going to be, wh whether or not be Mike Schmidt, Michael, or whatever, they're going, they're going to be going through the events of FNAF 3. But he's going to be exploring the past, looking up what what past tragedies happened, and it's going to show us the events of FNAF 2 as the past. Whoa! So I honestly do believe that we're going to see like I believe that's how they're going to handle it. We're going to be moving on to the events of FNAF 3, but. We're gonna be seeing seeing the events of FNAF 2 as as like a flashbacks or as oh. like he's learning it. He we start seeing like it in person. That would make more sense, cause to be honest, FNAF 3 location is kind of boring. It is just one single animal. And it just be jump scares, which I guess isn't too bad. It is FNAF. But, but the Phantom. Phantom animatronics. But if we do the FNAF 2 add-on, then we get a little bit of the spice. Yes. And we get to see William Afton <gasps> and his wife. Yes, we get to see her. Oh, we get to see your wife in her prime. I was going to say William Afton in his prime, like in his hunting grounds, like in his suit and all that. But you know what? Go, go right ahead. What if they show like your wife just beating him up? <laughs> that would be funny. Just going ham on him. Just like, take this, take that. <laughs> oh, but yeah. So the, so basically. That all happens. Then I believe it's after that that we that we'll see like the end of Springtrap, which doesn't end the series. I believe then we'll take the event. Then I think the last movie is gonna take Burn Trap. Oh wait, we still haven't covered Sister Location yet. Oh <gasps> no, you don't think it'd be Sister Location? Maybe, but Sister Location. <gasps> okay, okay. But the weird thing about Sister Location is where it takes place in timeline too, because Sister uh? Location actually takes Sus. place before the events of FNAF 1 as well. I, I, I feel like no one really thought about the, uh, this feels like Star Wars original trilogy. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? This is so confusing. Whoa, why is there a child named Alexander by- I think that's what they're saying what you become, but honestly, uh, there's no one ever confirmed who was in the <gasps> spirits of, uh, I of become a three. real boy? Sure, buddy, sure. I'm a real boy! But yes, the Funtime animatronics, the events yeah. of Sister Location actually take place before the events of FNAF 1. Does it also take place before Fred Bear's Family Diner? Ye no, after. Oh, this, so is when this is technically number two. Essentially, I believe, yeah. I believe that I think it's- I need a timeline. So do I. Everyone does. Scott, release a timeline! We need a timeline. This is so- I thought I understood it, buddy. I thought I understood my own history, but apparently, does that make me older than you? Yes and no, no it doesn't. I, I, because, I'm pretty sure it does, Freddy. No, because I was created, makes... I was created before William left the company and cre and started up his new location, the sister location. Still older. Dang it. <gasps> You're my big bro then. Okay, so, it could maybe be no FNAF 3 then. Perhaps it will be delve and trinkle a little bit inside of the sister location yeah it's gonna be weird because in order to have the in order to use the final game of the of the main of the first act which was the yeah. which was the pizzeria simulator where they did the whole big fire and did the cleansing you, you remember that right ah uh, yes the fire so it was so it was from there but you can't use that location yeah because you have Molten Freddy and Scrap Baby, who were only there because mm. they had escaped the sister location. Well, didn't Security Breach happen before as well? No. Security Breach oh. is the latest in the timeline. It is farther oh. down the timeline. Oh, 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 oh. I thought it would- No, no. Security Breach happens at the- is at the end of the timeline right now. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything before si Sister Location then? Fred Bear's Diner. Oh! I thought th you said Sister Location was also before Fred's- No, no, no. Before FNAF 1. Ah. 
So Fred Bears is technically FNAF 1. Sister Locations number 2. FNAF 2 is FNAF 1. And then FNAF 2 or FNAF 1 is FNAF 2. Essentially, how <laughs> I see the timeline right now. We have Fred Bear's Diner. Uh huh. Then we have FNAF 2. Right. Then Sister Location. Uh huh. Then FNAF 1. Then we have FNAF 3. And then the uh, Pizzeria Simulator. Where's FNAF 4? It's a little harder to place that one. But I believe it happens before Sister Location. Ah. Because it. It deals with a young Michael before he travels down into the basement. And before he I travels see. into the into the area where the sister location is. I think we will get a prequel. But I don't think it'll have FNAF 3 in it. I think it'll either be it's a full out Fred Bear's family diner. Because there's a lot of juicy lore in there. Mm -hmm. Or the sister location. Because that place is pretty juicy too. Yeah. And then maybe we'll get flashbacks to Fred Bear's family diner. You're not wrong. So... Or completely original. Just the man behind the slaughter. The, 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 his own movie. It is very possible. It could be called we, the we, Afton family. We don't know what Scott has planned for, for this. Do you think he'll make Purple Guy actually purple? I don't know. Like, it'll be hard to show him. To show decayed skin like that. Oh, it's not that hard. But to have it actually look purple like that? No, why not? Just painted purple. Purple meat. <laughs> purple meat. They got purple rain. Why not purple meat? Oh yeah, yeah. All right. I think. Wow. Think that's what's this gonna. I think that that is our predictions for what the FNAF movie sequel is going to be. Now, it's going to either be a sequel, prequel, or what's going to, what we just know, what we're saying is going to be number two in the movie. Mm. And of course, Juicy. they're going to learn from this movie what worked and what didn't work. What people, yeah. what the audience liked and what the audience didn't like. I'll just say I liked it. And that's what I'm saying. Sorry. But what is your theories? What do you think the sequel is going to be? What do you think the thing? What do you think the events are gonna lead up to the sequel? And do you think it's gonna take place in FNAF 2, 3, or do you think they'll take their own direction, and like the book series, and do something completely different? Who knows? Ba -ba -ba. But with that being said, hopefully you all did enjoy. Make sure to comment down below what you think you're, it's gonna happen, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.